What is up guys, Jarv here and we're back again with some Destiny 2. Now today saw the reset being a Tuesday and in doing so we saw the introduction of the Izanami Forge. So in this video today we're going to be covering off each and every quest step and some little hints and tips along the way. We'll also be looking at the location of the drones, how you can get the max temper in this week's forge and get the third key for your mystery box. So we're going to be covering that off in the video today. If you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and if you are new to the channel feel free to hit that sub button. But without further delay let's jump in. So just to set the expectations, this is a lengthy quest. This took approximately two and a half to three hours to complete in total. So it will take some time to kick it off though. You just want to go kill some Vex and eventually you'll get the Vex transponder drop. This is RNG drop, but that's how you get the first step of the quest. From here, you'll then need to defeat a hundred Vex. Now, personally, I was using the Lost Sector at Artifact's Edge. If you spawn in there and jump down to your left-hand side, there's a great Lost Sector just full of Vex. You can just farm that over and over. And eventually, you'll get the next step, which is the Spire Integration. So you'll need to complete the heroic version of this event. Now, this can spawn in two places. It'll either be over at Exodus Black, or for me, it was down at the Hallows, which is actually where the entry to the Izanami Forge actually is. But when you complete that, you'll get the next step. And that will mean you'll have to defeat Minotaurs. You'll need to defeat 20 in total. Now, for me, this was probably one of the longest steps of the quest. I was using the Artifacts Edge spawn, and I was just spawning in, turning to my left, and sniping the Minotaur to my left, and then checking my right-hand side for the Saboteur, because he's a Minotaur as well, just in case he was available. And I literally just rinsed and repeated that. I did kill the Minotaur, spawn back in, and then defeat the same one over and over. Once you've defeated all 20, you'll then receive the next step of the quest. And this step is called the Black Armory Signature. So in completing that last step, we have effectively now located the Izanami Forge. And this next step allows us to get our first taste of what this forge has to offer. And it is something a little bit different compared to the forges that we've had so far. So what you wanna do is go over to the Hallows, drop down and head over to the right hand side and at the back of the room as you'll see here there is a vex portal now lit up one that we can go through now this will teleport us through to the corridors leading up to the forge so you want to make your way down here and there's also a narrow section with a couple of low ceilings so you make your way carefully through there and when you eventually reach the end you'll get to the next step of the quest and it's effectively a mission that we need to complete but again it's our first taste and experience in this forge so essentially what this mission is asking us to do is basically clear out the forge which has been abandoned and rediscovered after a long period of time. So you want to jump through the portal here, get teleported and pinged straight over and basically we need to clear out the ads from this section. And once we've cleared out all the trash ads, we'll have a large minotaur spawn that we need to take out in order to remove the barrier that's surrounding the forge. And once we complete that, then we start the next steps of the quest. So this next step is called the Broken Izanami Igniter. So basically now we've released it from its shield, we now need to reignite the forge so we can craft weapons. So from here you want to head back to Ada and she'll give you the next step with the igniter. Now this next step is probably one of the lengthier sections along with the Minotaur and will require you to complete three heroic public events. Now these are the Glimmer Extraction, the Witch's Ritual and the Spire Integration again. So you'll need to go over to Nessus to complete the Glimmer Extraction and the Spy Integration, then head over to Titan to complete the Witch's Ritual. So we started off with the Glimmer Extraction. If you head over to the Tangle, this is where this one is most likely to spawn on Nessus. And when you complete that, you'll get the completion on the quest step. We then jumped into the Spy Integration and this was the second of the three. So when we completed this, this just left the one step quest left, which was the Witch's Ritual. So we head over to Titan and that will spawn on the rig. And again, you may need to make sure you make this heroic. And we make short work of the boss when he walks out this portal. But when you complete that, you'll get another step. Now this will require you to get Blended Ether. You'll need to get Fallen Multicles in order to get that. The best place for that is the lost sectors over at the edz you'll also need to get condensed blight collected you can head over to the lost sectors over on io and finally you'll need to get the radiolarian vapor now this is part of a new mission that pops up it's over at the cistern so this is it's almost like the inverted spire strike that's how it sort of starts out at least and you'll need to head on over and shoot these oracles 
pipe things in the sky to spawn these platforms. But when you get to the end, it will complete the mission and that will complete the vapor section of that quest step. Now after this, we jumped over to Io. Now if you head over to Ashamir, the lost sector directly opposite him, about two or three rooms in, there is a small condensed taken blight. So if you run in, you'll get a condensed blight consumable from that and you'll get 20% per blight. So you'll need to repeat that four to five times. Now after that, we head over to the EDZ and I jumped over into Widow's Walk and then this is where we got the fallen multi kills. So just take your time and pace your shots and eventually you'll get the kills that you need. Now this will give you the repowered Izanami igniter and you'll need to then head over to the EDZ and from here we go to the Velundra Forge and we need to basically recharge that igniter. So there's nothing special about this forge encounter, it's just a regular Velundra Forge but when you complete that you'll eventually get the repaired Izanami igniter. So we're almost there guys, these are the last few steps but unfortunately we're not quite there yet. So once you get this particular igniter you'll then need to return to Ada and then from here she'll give you another step. So this is basically a tuned up version of the Insight Terminus Strike. It's very much akin to a Nightfall. You are equipped locked out so make sure your loadout is all set before you go in and extinguish is on so be very careful and don't get a full team wipe otherwise you're going to be returning back to orbit but you want to complete this strike and you'll get the final stage of the quest and this is asking you to reignite the izanami forge and that finally brings us to the final stages of this quest so you want to head on over to nessus and back over to the izanami forge and from here you want to complete the encounter and that will then finally re fully repair the Izanami Forge. But now the forge is repaired, we can now start using frames here to forge legendary black armory weapons. So if you head on back to Ada, she'll now give you the first frame, which is a basic bow frame. But when you pick that up, you'll get the triumph, Izanami Forge discovered. So there you have it guys, that is the full quest line for the Izanami Forge. So now we have access to this forge, we are now able to get the maximum temper buff here and get the next key of the mystery box. So I've got clips here of exactly where they are. Now there's three islands, so there's one island on the left and one on the right. So if you go to the island on the left and use a hand cannon, the first one is sort of between the left island and the middle island. Just in front of you, you'll see it here again in just a moment as you see it spawn in on my left hand side. There it is, so just take that one out. And then if you take a scout rifle or a sniper rifle or anything long range and sort of look over towards the cyclops, it's just to the right hand side, there it is, and just ping it out of the sky. And that will give you the maximum temper buff and when you complete the encounter, you'll get your next Black Armory key. And that takes us up to three out of the four keys we need to unlock this mystery box. So there we have it, guys. That's a full quest, guys, to the Izanami Forge and the mystery box key for this week. We have one more key left, as you can see there, and we'll probably get that from the Naomi Labs when we get the key mold and we have to actually construct that key ourselves. But I hope you found this video useful. If you have, definitely feel free to leave a rating below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you want to see more Destiny 2 content moving forward, especially through Black Armory, through Joker's World and beyond, then feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But yeah, I'm going to jump back into the game, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon. Take care. Peace.